Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Joyce Root. Today's topic is Auto Shutdown and Auto Start and Azure, Azure VM. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can automatically start and stop an Azure VM using automation task. With automation task, we will be able to deallocate uh, power off and deallocate a virtual machine during the non-business hours and we'll be able to start a virtual machine during the business hours. So by doing uh, so, by doing this automation, we will be able to reduce the cost of a Azure VM. So, we are going to uh, see I have already created a virtual machine and I have named it as uh, test VM. In this VM, uh, if you check it out, I have created in the location West Europe and it is an E3, uh, E2 V3 version. And uh, so, this is the basic details of this particular virtual machine. So, normally when we create a virtual machine, we have an option uh, to uh, auto shut down it uh, if, if we enable the auto shut down we can mention the timing over here like uh, at what time it has to be deallocated automatically this option is there uh, by default this is a traditional uh, way all are aware of this while creating the virtual machine apart from this uh, option we have uh, we are checking uh, some other option where we can automate this virtual machine uh, auto shut down and uh, the starting the virtual machine so to for doing that we have to uh, in this blade we have to come down under uh, automation tab here as you can see over here this automation task we have an option called task so we have to click on task so uh, it will be asking us to add a task over here so i'm adding a task and uh, here it is still loading it will be uh, giving us certain options uh, one second yes it has come so we have an option for the power of the virtual machine start the virtual machine and deallocate the virtual machine so simply powering off a virtual machine doesn't uh, give a reduce the cost we will have to deallocate the virtual machine so uh, by powering off uh, uh, will not help us to reduce the cost so we'll go with the deallocate a virtual machine and start a virtual machine so these two automation will be uh, we will be working on a, on it as of now so i'm creating the deallocate in the virtual machine to deallocate the virtual machine and start the virtual machine so i'm going with the deallocate virtual machine uh, to automate deallocate virtual machine so i'm clicking over here it will ask for authentication uh, next step is authentication so in this authentication we can um, give our any global admin or any privileged account for the authentication so I am skipping that part. You will have to give the authentication from your side. And for the configuration, we have to give the name. So personally, I have given the deallocation of VM. And the date, this date should be from where, from which day on which this automation should work. So I'm giving today's date. And timing, I have given 8.46. Personally, it is 8.46. I'm, so I'm just increase the time to 8.48. And time zone, I have selected Arabian standard time. Interval, uh, interval should be according to the frequency, how frequently you required an hourly basis or daily basis or weekly. So I have selected weekly and I have given five, which means every uh, weekly five times at 8.48, the machine will uh, restart. Sorry, machine will deallocate. So I have to give a mail ID over here. So I'm giving my personal mail ID. and review and create so the machine is uh, just reviewing it and i am just trying to create it so once the uh, automation is created at 848 so we have given 848 so another two more minutes it may take so 848 and in another one minute the machine should uh, reboot so presently when we check it over here the machine is up and running and uh, i will just uh, log into this machine this machine is already logged in over here as you can see see this particular ip address machine is logged in over here so yes so let us wait uh, for another one more minute so that uh, machine should auto shut down and deallocate it so uh, i'm waiting for another one minute i'm not holding the video because as uh, for one minute, let us wait. Uh, 
कि या इट इज शटिंग डाउन सी द मशीन हैज गॉट शट डाउन हियर इफ यू चेक इट आउट इट इज टेकिंग टाइम टू रिफ्रेश ओवर हियर इन द पोर्टल या इट हैज शट डाउन सो आवर ऑटोमेशन टास्क हैज बीन टेकन ऑटोमेटिकली आई मीन इट हैज टेकन इफेक्ट इन द सेम वे वी कैन क्रिएट एन अंदर टास्क स्टार्ट अ वर्चुअल मशीन review and create again authenticate we have to give the authentication and we have to configure it next configure it so here we have to um what happened to the authentication uh, next configure you have to give the uh, name for the uh, automation here i'm giving uh, vm underscore start and timing is we are giving today's time and presently this machine is uh, shut down so at uh, 8:52 we will make the machine up 8:50 8:52 pm we are making the machine up time zone again we have to select arabian time zone as a, as i am in oman so according to our location we can um allocate the uh, time zone so arabian arabic arabian standard time uh, again uh, in revel i'm giving as uh, week and uh, five times uh, notify me i'm giving my personal mail id all.t at gmail.com gmail.com yes and review and create it has failed the validation let us check again what uh, i think there is a space over here so does in support any space yes so review and create uh so we'll have to wait another 2 uh, minutes for the machine to come up because as present time is 8:50 pm here so i have given Uh, as 8:52, we will have to wait for another uh, uh, two minutes. So, I'm not uh, holding this video. Let us uh, keep on uh, streaming it. Mm, as you can see here, we have start this particular uh, task has been created. So, uh, let us check uh, how it looks like. So, configuration as you can see here. Here, while checking it out, we have two option here like. to view it like edit in line which we have seen uh, as of now we have an option here for the uh, configuration which we have seen the just just now apart from this we have another view like open in logic apps so it will give a graphical view how uh, this particular automation is working so it is loading okay yeah as you can see here recurrence uh, start the virtual mission uh, notify on failure notify on success so it is giving a little more a uh, um, graphical view uh, so hopefully in another uh, few may, few may seconds the mission should start up so let us try here keep on trying to uh, connect the mission as of now the machine is still on the deallocated mode it is 851 it should come up, up come up at 852 yeah so machine yeah it should start now because the time is 852 now so let us check whether our automation is functioning fine or not yes the machine has come up it's showing stop that means the machine has come up so let us take try to take the rdb so yes yeah so we are successful it is uh, automatically uh, coming up it is automatically switching on and we are able to take the rdb so thank you thanks for watching and if you like this video please do subscribe it will promote me it will encourage me to create new videos related to azure vm office 365 if you have not sub, uh, subscribed this channel if you found this uh, information is really helpful to you please do subscribe my channel and uh, support me 
share to your friends and support me thank you we'll meet you in another video